Border Patrol Union backed. So just think about what Republicans could have done today. They could have passed the bill as imperfect as it was. The border would still be a mess in November. And this fall, they could say, we tried. We compromised. We worked with President Biden. And still, the border is a mess. And then Republicans would say, elect us, and we will fix it. But no, they torpedoed the bill and gift-wrapped President Biden's response to any complaint or question about the border from now until November. We start with Mike Huckabee, former governor of Arkansas, two-time presidential candidate. It's good to see you, as always, sir. Um, look, I, I am never a fan of making uh, one Republican answer for all Republicans. Uh, but you think about what's happened today and the way Republicans have looked, and especially this vote, vote now that just failed, uh, that Republican leadership brought to impeach Alejandro Marcus, and it fails. Why? Well, I think the uh, simple answer is the border bill isn't a border bill. It's a Ukraine bill. It's $120 billion. Okay. More than half of it is about Ukraine. Add the Israel component in there. This was one of those great big omnibus bills where Congress does what they typically do. They screw it up by putting so many different things in there that are not connected to each other that it makes it easy for people to oppose on principle. So the idea that this was going to have anything to do with the border, uh, anything of substance, still letting 5,000 people in a day, 1.8 million a year, I think most Republicans looked at that and said, this is nonsense. Joe Biden owns the broken border. He was the one who put executive orders in place on day one and bragged about it, how he was not mm -hmm. going to continue those Donald Trump policies that were so awful. But those awful policies had us a pretty secure border. Now we've got people who are taxpayers in places like Boston, mothers of four who can't send their kids to a community center because it's filled up with illegal aliens. Uh, cops are getting the crap beat out of them in New York City on the streets. Yeah. And before they get out of the hospital, the people who beat them up are walking down the street giving the finger to America. People are getting gift cards, gift cards, who shouldn't even be in this country. We've got veterans who don't get uh, as Governor, much you get no in argument. benefits. Yeah, you, you get no argument in me about how messed up the border is. I'm talking about the politics of it, of, of the appearance for, that Republicans just can't shoot straight. And we can agree or disagree on the 5,000, whether it lets actually 5,000 in or that's the circuit breaker. I get the talking point. But yeah. you understand that Republicans are now actively opposing a bill that the Border Patrol Union, that's been very outspoken on the border, says is something that they need. Take a listen. When you talk about putting a cap on the number of people that we take into custody before we shut down the border, when there is no cap currently, that is a huge tool. When you talk about that we can't release single adults, including military-aged men, that is a huge tool. So there are very big tools in this bill. The Border Patrol Union endorsed Donald Trump in 2020. They've been very, very outspoken about President Biden's failures on the border, which, as you laid out, and fair people would agree, are numerous. So why would Republicans oppose something the Border Patrol says would help? Well, the Border Patrol, I think, understandably, are looking for any, any ideas at all that might help them. Th this would be better than the nothing they're getting now. But the question is, you say, well, we're only going to let 5,000 in. Well, what does the law say? The law says you don't let anyone in who yeah. doesn't have a legal reason to be. And if they're looking for asylum, they apply for asylum in the country of origin, not once they cross the border. So I think what Republicans did in H.R. 2, they did put a bill out. They passed it. The Senate mm -hmm. won't take it up. So it's unfair to say that the Republicans won't do anything. The Republicans have done something. They did it some weeks ago. But it's the Democrats who have held it up. So the, the fact is, if Joe Biden really wants to close the border, he can do it. He clearly doesn't sure. want to. He wants to use this as a campaign issue. I think it's going to backfire like an exploding cigar in his face. But he thinks he can win and blame this on Donald Trump, who hasn't been in office in three years. So that's ridiculous. I mean, that is beyond absurd that he says it's Donald Trump's fault. No, I, it can't be Donald I know, Trump's you, you, fault. You, you, you. You heard, I think you heard me in the open. I said that it's objectively untrue yeah. what, President Biden, what yeah. President Biden said. That, that said, what's true and what happens in politics don't necessarily uh, or form congruent lines, if you will. I think we, you and yeah. I both know that. And I'm totally wondering if you, if, you don't, if you don't worry, right, uh, of this appearance that Republicans just can't shoot straight. You've got 
the, the impeachment of Mayorkas failing, that was a big talking point for Republicans for a long time when they didn't impeach Joe Biden. It was, okay, we're going to impeach the DHS secretary. That just failed today. Uh, they're even getting grilled by, by Fox News anchors about why not do something on the border and pass this bill or at least continue the negotiations on it. Optics matter, don't they? Well, they do matter, but you also have to have substance. And you can have the most beautiful picture of a pie and put it on the menu, but when people eat it, it makes them sick. That's what we have. We have some legislation that was hurried through. People didn't have but a few hours to look at it, and they were told, let's just go for it. And a lot of Republicans, and I think a lot of the American public, said to heck with that. Uh, this is not a board. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.